Hello, and welcome to Chamber of Horrors. I am your host, Mercy Desdemona, and today we are going to talk about the most cringiest abomination of a film that I watched last night. And I'm not talking about, you know, bad films that we could, you know, have a guilty pleasure of loving. I'm talking about the Texas Chainsaw Cringe Fest that Netflix released yesterday. So yeah, you know what? I didn't even script this one. This one, you know, normally, you know, I have a nice little script to keep on, on, you know, task here because the voices up here talk a lot. No, 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 I, I already know what the hell I'm going to say about this one. So first off, the only reason why I wanted to watch it was because in the trailer it showed that we were going to catch up with Sally, you know, and for those of you who don't know, Sally was the only survivor after the original, so of course they couldn't have Marilyn Burns reprise her role because unfortunately she passed away in 2014. So they had another lady come in to portray Sally, which is okay, awesome. So I'm like, let's see what Sally's been doing all these years. What they did to that character in this film was a complete abomination. Like, I don't even, okay, I'm getting it. Okay, so. You start off with four insufferable characters acting like woke city folk douchebags. Now, no, I don't believe all city people are douchebags, but in this film, they make the four main characters absolutely insufferable from the moment that you meet them. You want them to meet the meat hook, okay? And I feel like that sucks because, like, I feel like they didn't build any character development. There's one character where we learn a little bit about her backstory. Unfortunately, she was a victim of a school shooting, you know, so she's dealing with a lot, you know, and it's like, okay, you know, there's her story. And then you've got three others where you barely know, and they're, they are so awful with their attitudes. Like, they go to the small town, and of course, you know, Maybe I'm a little biased because I live in a small town and I know how city people act when they come up here. But, you know, they, they, they're awful to everybody. And nobody is really, really being mean to them. They just be like, oh, we know everything, blah, 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 blah. No, no, you don't. Stop it. And, like, you know how normally when there's, like, a group of friends, there's one, you, oh, I mean, that one, you know, they deserve it. You know, or, like... There's others that you want to cheer on, or, like, there's the funny dude, and the, you know, the cool chick. You know what I mean? There is none of that. These people are as interesting as paint drying, and then having the bad attitudes of Karens, okay? It is ridiculous. I feel like they missed the mark because they could have went so much deeper in these characters. Not to mention the one dude's wife is like the first one to get killed. And even her death, I have to say, this is the least goriest Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie I have ever seen. I, I don't even understand why they called it that. It was like watching, actually, no, you know what, that'd be an insult to high school drama clubs. I have seen high school drama clubs put on my better production than this piece of shit. Okay? Okay. Well, there's, like, one scene where, like, an arm breaks and the visuals look okay. And then, you know, they slap Leatherface on a party bus. And I guess the director or the scriptwriter or whoever the hell wrote this thing thought, okay, it'd be cool to throw in a funny joke, let everybody take a picture and crack the joke. Oh, we're going to try to get him canceled. He, he, he. No, it's fucking stupid. I never thought in a million years that I would see Leatherface on a party bus. But, hey, here we are. So, you know... The funniest thing, I would say, are the chase scenes. Why? Because Leatherface is just, just, you know, being not even remotely scary. I feel like I was at, you know, a local haunt fest. Nothing against those, but you know what I mean. It has that campy vibe. And then you got the people, like, running, like, old-timey movies. Like, oh, no! What's gonna happen? It wasn't even believable. There was no scream queens in it, okay? There was no eye candy for anybody. You know, slasher films. They've got the ladies. They've got the, you know, they've got eye candy. We all know this. We've got gore. We all know this. But I feel like this is like <sighs> a dweeby version. And then what they did to Sally's character. Oh my gosh. They build her up, build her up, build her up to give her the stupidest story that I 
I've ever seen. There was really no reason for her to even be there. You think she's going to be a badass like Laurie Strode? <laughs> this meme, I found it. I thought it was hilarious because it's true. It kind of just, you know. And then she apparently was trying to audition for Destiny's Child because all she kept telling Leatherface was to say their name. My name, say my name. And, you know, she meets her demise, and it was so, oh, it was awful. It was, and then, oh, I don't know why, but the ending bothered me because, like, the survivor isn't even screaming, really. Like, there's no monolithical screams, like, oh, my God, I got away, or anything. It's just, ah, as I'm being taken away in my self-driving car, oh, no, like, it was awful awful zero out of ten and another thing horror movies thriller movies all of that they are supposed to be gritty they're supposed to make you feel uncomfortable and they're supposed to make you sink okay i am really scared to see what the hell is going on in the horror industry from here on out because lately there have been a lot of freaking duds the only saving grace that i have seen are from like the europeans they have some really good ones that I came out, and I will be doing some reviews on those. You know, stuff on Shudder is a saving grace. But oh my gosh, the Texas Chainsaw Cringe Fest was the worst thing that I have ever seen. And I sat through the movie Things. If you guys don't know what Things is, oh, <laughs> well, I probably should do a review on that. I don't know if I did already. But, you know, they eat moth sandwiches and talk to weird squeaky things that look like dog toys in this film. And that is ten times better than this piece of shit Texas movie that I just watched. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Sorry I'm a little bit heated at it. Alright, well I'm gonna go be weird. Have a good one, guys. Bye!